Good evening, everybody. Hey, man, Steve here once again. This is going to be my first, first uh, actual thing that I that I upload for for the start of 2024. This is my Retron AV video game system, and of course I. I showed this in my uh, my showing my twenty Christmas twenty twenty three presents, and uh, I have I have the original box to this. This is what the actual system looks like, as you can see. It is it is very neat looking. It's uh maybe it's a little bit smaller than what we uh, anticipated it to be, but believe me, man, it it it's it appears to be a lot bigger than, than what you think, and it definitely has character. This is a 3-in-1 game system. It plays it plays games from three different other systems, such as the Sega Genesis, the Super Nintendo, and the original Nintendo. And here are three games that I'm going to be demonstrating. This one is... This also plays the this also plays games from the super uh, from the Super Game Boy uh, console too. By the way, this is uh, this is Super Mario Land. I got this for Christmas. This is the Japanese version too. By the way, I just play I just play this one and it plays really good. I. Uh, I had not played this game in many years, and I was telling everybody that I would love to get it again, so I got it for Christmas. And I had just played it, and it plays just perfectly uh, on the Sharp TV, too, by the way. It's a good thing that we got it when we did. And I'm probably going to start off with this one first. This is a Sega Genesis game that we got from a friend. Uh, I think this is uh, this is a combat game. Yeah, this is a this is a the Japan a Japanese uh, made game too. By the way, it definitely shows its shows its age. And this is Metroid Rogue Dawn. This is a hack fan game, fan made game, and. Uh, this is a really cool game. I've been working on this. I'm a big uh, I'm a big Metroid fanatic, and uh, I'm going to be demonstrating that as well. We'll have a look at the system here, and then I'll give a demonstration. It has a setting for uh, what game system you will be playing as, and there's the knob there. I think that's pretty cool. There is the the output for the controllers. I think I only I think I have like two controllers to this right now. This was the original controller that came with it. It looks just like the uh, the Super Nintendo uh, game controller. It has the shoulder buttons and it has the uh, the uh, the uh, come on, damn it, brain focus. I guess basically just the the controls for for moving around in the game. I guess, and then there's the uh, the uh, the A and the B and the X and the Y buttons there. They're start and select, and uh, there's the back of it. Made in China. Very lightweight. But it feels very good in your hand as you play. There's the output for the game systems. I think this is for the, uh, for the Super Nintendo. And that is the Sega Genesis. And I think this is the NES. There is the AV output. 
cords there. Hyperkin. I think that's the model number right there. 31 Retro Gaming Console. Made in China. Wouldn't think that, that it... Just look at it, it really doesn't have a high all that much to it, but man, it has some potential. And I think we probably could have only dreamed of something like this when we were kids growing up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the games put in. Put that back down there. Go ahead and I'll put Metroid in first. Okay, so now we can turn this on and we can see what this is all about. Okay, so now I have the camera mounted on the tripod, so now we can go ahead and turn the TV on. And I'm going to go ahead and put the AV cords in. Okay, now I will go ahead and turn the system off. I have beaten and played every Metroid game but this one. Technically, well, this is a more of a game hack that uh, that was released seven years ago. It was released in March in 2017.
Okay, I think I'll stop right here. Okay, so that was a demonstration of the NES system. That is a really great game. I started playing this, uh, I just right from the very minute that I got it out of the box. And, um, very, very, a lot like the very first one, even for a a seven-year-old hat game. This definitely, this one definitely packs a punch. So let's go ahead and turn that off, and let's check out the let's check out the Super NES now. Sorry, everybody. Having to redo that, I didn't have the uh, controller hooked in all the way. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, so there is a demonstration of the Super NES uh, playing playing the Game Boy the Game Boy system. This is prob probably probably would be one of my favorites. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn that off and switch it over to the Sega Genesis. Okay, so before I get started on the Sega, on the Sega system, just wanted to go ahead and show the other controller that it came with. This is for the Sega right here, and uh, in reference, it is exactly, uh, exactly the same to the original Sega Genesis controller, and it's like the, uh, it's like the. NES and the Super NES controller. It's lightweight. It's easy to control. Um, and really, really neat looking. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hooked in and, and I will, and I will show you the Sega, the Sega game system. Thank you. 
is probably the second time he's playing this game. Ah, dang it, I lost. This is a tough one. Okay. Well, okay. Well, there you have it, everybody. I hope that you... I hope that you have enjoyed a demo of my game system here. And I have seen that I have got a lot of views with my video game videos and uh, so that's that's I know that's that's a good thing considering that uh, that I'm that I'm sure that even those uh, among the the fan community or 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 big time video game fanatics too so well there you have it everybody well I hope that you all have enjoyed the video and more to come have a good one and bye-bye.